Varicella, commonly known to you and me as chickenpox, is a very common childhood illness that is not very bad in most kids, but can be very severe in young infants and in adults. Prior to the vaccine, it would typically infect 4 million kids per year. Now, even though severe infections were very rare, it still led to about 8,000 to 18,000 admissions to the hospital and about 100 to 150 deaths. Typical symptoms of chickenpox include a blistering, itchy rash, low-grade fever, and fatigue. But there were some complications, such as scarring, infections at the site, pneumonia, infection of the brain called encephalitis, and of course, even deaths. The vaccine was introduced in 1995, and after the vaccine, we've seen dramatic decreases in the amount of chickenpox. It dropped 90%. Now we're seeing less than 250,000 cases per year of chickenpox. Deaths and hospitalizations fell 97%. Now the vaccine is what's called a live attenuated or weakened vaccine. And so it's not supposed to cause disease, but it can occasionally happen. And so because of that, there's some children who should absolutely not get the chickenpox vaccine. People who have had an immune compromised disorder, have cancer, receiving chemotherapy, or have received a bone marrow transplant, people who have been on high dose steroids, or if you're allergic to the antibiotic neomycin or gelatin, you should not get this vaccine. Side effects of the vaccine are usually pretty mild. Painted injection site, maybe a little warmth. You could have some low grade fever, and it can even sometimes cause disease. Chickenpox. Now, if you get chickenpox from the vaccine, it's usually pretty mild, usually only about 10 to 20 spots and fairly low grade fever. But if you break out with these low grade chickenpox, you're actually contagious with the real thing. So if your child breaks out after the chickenpox vaccine, they shouldn't be around any children less than the age of one because they wouldn't have got the vaccine. They shouldn't be around anybody who's immunocompromised, has had a kidney transplant, or is on chemotherapy. And they shouldn't be around anybody who's been on really high dose steroids while they have that rash. It's a great vaccine. It's made a huge difference in the quality of people's life. And the one thing that people don't give it enough credit for is this is a very long illness when it happens. It can last seven to 21 days. Think about that. Your child could be contagious for seven to 21 days. In today's lifestyle, most of our parents are both working. Can you really afford to take off seven to 21 days from work while your child is suffering from chickenpox? So even more than the risk of the hospitalizations or the small number of deaths that occur per year, the economic impact of chickenpox vaccine has been huge.